I'm Laura Osnes, and welcome to the second week of RNH Goes Live. Um, mm. Thank you so much for tuning in, and you guys are in for a treat today because I'm joined by two of my dear friends, Kelly Barrett and Jared Spector. We yes. have been quarantining together for the past three weeks. Three weeks today. Three weeks today. Three weeks. It was supposed to be two days. And, now and then it became, it was supposed days. to be a two week getaway. Yeah. Now it's a three week uh, quarantine. Yeah. 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 Exactly. Yeah. Three weeks. Weeks. And honestly, we couldn't be happier and more grateful to have you guys. Yes. Um, we've gotten to make some amazing music and hang out, and it's been just such a gift. And in a few minutes, we are going to share a brand new song that we put together uh, for our Goes Pop. Mm -hmm. And we're excited, we hope you guys are too. But first, let's give it up for Kelly and Jared. Welcome guys. Oh, oh stop. No, please stop. True, yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. Come on. <laughs> hey, we're really happy to be here. Thanks for having us. Um, but do you guys have any previous Rogers and Hammerstein um, credits to your name? I've always wanted to do a Rogers and Hammerstein show. It's like the dream to play Julie Jordan or Lori in Oklahoma, um, but I never got to do it. And then that was my dog. That was our that dog. Just jumped out, jumped the out theater there. And the, yeah, it's Sorry about that. <laughs> um, but then we actually got to do something. We did uh, a mini series called Wormwood. That was, you and Jared together. Yes, yeah. on Netflix. You can you can watch it while you're quarantined. Um, and we got to play. I uh, played Isabel Bigley. Bill and Bill Hayes in Me and Juliet, and we sang, um, what is it called? Oh, uh, the song. <laughs> no Other Love. No Other Love. No Other Love. We sang No Other Love or on TV, so you can, you can stream that one. Yeah, I think it's episode three. That's episode three. I'm going to If you blink, you'll miss it, but if you listen real close, you can hear. <laughs> we have, so I have a wig on, and then at some point we have gas masks on, and it's very it's strange. It's very creepy. Um, yeah. But cool. But anyway, yeah. Epic. Yeah. Um, um, and I played Billy in Carousel in high school. Naturally, I'm a, I'm the ideal Billy Bigelow <laughs> casting. <laughs> I know. Um, no, you but, I, no, especially yeah, when I was 18, I was, I was perfect. No, no, it was, I mean, it was, yeah, it was amazing. And just having one moment in life to sing soliloquy is, is, is certainly <sighs> worth, worth it. So, uh, yeah, that was amazing. I and then I, and then I did this little, and I think Lauren, you've done it at, at one point or another too, a little thing, um, a little Alan J. Lerner workshop, a show about Austin right. Turner in which there is a moment where he goes to Roger and Hammerstein while he's trying to adapt to Pygmalion because who knew that right. Roger and Hammerstein, among other writers, also took That's a shot right. at right. what eventually became My Fair Lady. That's funny. That. Yeah. That's right. Yes, I did a workshop with yeah. <laughs> Um, So cool. And you guys have such a, an amazing like pop background as well. Um, what's amazing about being quarantined with these folks and we were putting this together literally last night was like jared i know you play guitar we have a guitar up here like could we whip something up and i immediately my brain went to the song Edelweiss because a you can do it with guitar and um i also thought in the show the sound of music it's such an anthem for peace and hope mm -hmm. for those people going through a hard time in their nation and i just thought it could be a really beautiful thing to get to do today and you guys like jumped on board and brought all of your creative genius to it let's explain the process last night of how we came up with this oh it was awesome it was like we have 30 minutes until dinner served and he's been working on it for six hours so we, we can't be late it's got it we have to eat it while it's hot because it was an absolute masterpiece so we had 30 minutes and we started like Jared just like whipped out well why don't you talk about the beatles sort of inspired this arrangement oh yeah i mean it'll just the top i mean we can, we can talk about it now we can give it away if we but yeah i mean i thought you know as soon as i as soon as i played with the you know the, the, the chords of the song it sounds to me like who knows how long i've loved you I know I love you still. and so anyway that felt so it felt like if you're gonna take something that's classic and make it in the world of pop, you know, the Beatles are also such a classic sound. And it, Absolutely. You know, and something about the, not just the chord structure, but the feel of taking something like Edelweiss and turning it into something that's 4-4, feels like it wants to live in that, you know, sort of semi-folky Beatles world. And yeah, anyway, so that's that's how that That was the inspiration. The beginning of the beginning. Yeah. Um, well, without further ado, I mean, should we hear it go? Oh, yeah. Um, we'll give it a go. Do you guys want to hear it? Make sure you stick around, because afterwards, we're going to be doing a live Q&A with your questions. So if you have questions, you guys start typing them in now and we will answer them after the performance. Ooh! Okay. Okay. Um, Here we go. go. Get ready. Okay. If Sounds I hit a bum no, we all know I'm not Jimmy Hendrix. Here we go. I know. I mean, this is so fresh for all of us. <laughs> so yeah, lyrics. Okay. Is that a good Yep. 
To the 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 bringing of also the sound of music, the song mm. sound of music, mm. making a little mashup. We at first had thought about that Beatle bringing in the Beatles song. We right. were like, well, how can we make it R and H? Well, maybe there's another sound of music song we can fit in. And Kelly was like, keep playing. I hear it. I hear it. And I just started coming like the country, the hills. It all. I mean, it's all from the same musical and wrapped up in the same story, but mm -hmm. the nature about the flower, the edelweiss. Right, and the waltz feel. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, both works, blends. Yeah, Kelly, really, Kelly, Kelly. I know, you guys are rock stars. Thank you are. What an incredible gift. Thank you guys so much. Thanks for having me. Um, so, is there, uh, let's see, if, if we want to, I know, I'm like, is there any other RNH connection? I'm like, do we want to talk, like, you already said your dream role. Yeah, I'd love to play Julie, really. and knowing now that you play Julie. Really I know we could do it that in the living room. room. Hey, <laughs> yeah. I would pay money to see that for sure. And you would be the one. Okay, no, I'm not sure. I'm sure if we live it, guys, people would like that. Just like reading. Um. Anyway, do we have some live questions here? Let's see. Oh no, it says the sound is very muddled. Oh, I know. Well, the sound through. is fixed right before we. Oh yeah. Okay. Good. Sound is fixed. Hopefully it's not. Okay. Um. Broadway loves cat asks, did you have a favorite costume throughout your career? Ooh, that's a great question. That's a great question. Ooh, gosh. Um. To think for a second. Jared. Oh, well, Jared. You. Well, I mean, I just played, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I just played Sunny with. Um. I mean, who cares about my costumes? There's <laughs> two women here, but um, I did play Sunny Bono in the Share Show, of course, and all the costumes were designed by Bob Mackie. Um, and there was one particular shirt. There was a, you know, during the process of the show, things change all the time. And there was a moment where it was this montage of them in La of Sunny Share in Las Vegas. And there was supposed to be like two scenes, and then it ended up being three. So like three or four quick changes. And it was really late in the game, and they didn't have the costume. So, you know, because he's Bob Mackie, he called the warehouse in, in LA and he said, hey, will you send Sunny's shirt? So then they brought in an actual Sonny Bono shirt that they then cut and fit on me. Um, so I, I, it's hard to it's hard to argue that anything other than that was a favorite. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Wearing an actual right. Sonny Bono vintage 1960s shirt. Yeah. I'm obsessed. Yeah. Yeah. I love 
Sorry. Uh, oh, I've had a few really awesome ones. My my pro debut was a play called The Royal Family, and all of it was 1920s. Catherine Zuber, who we all know as an amazing costume designer, made some beautiful pieces that you know she took from the. I think they were actually existed. They were 1920s actual pieces that she sort of um, refurbished and gave to me. Uh, one in particular was like a dressing gown. And they gave me custom shoes that I still have worn on multiple red carpets. Yes, today. amazing. And that was <laughs> years ago or something. That was a really long time ago. Um, and then I got to do Fussy Burden where they handed everything exactly to the period. And um, they made me Liza's white suit from Liza with a Z where she did God Bless the Child. And I did the whole thing and only made a little cut into the third episode or something. But that was really cool. Did you get to keep any of that? No. I tried to steal it so quick. <laughs> I think I would have to say, I know Cinderella, no, 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 no. like it has to be, you know, William Ivy Long, who won the Tony Award for his costume designs for Cinderella, just mm -hmm. revolutionary work. I think my, I mean, obviously the transformation dress and the white ball gown was beautiful, but I think my favorite costume from the show is actually the gold dress she, the second, you know, gown that she gets mm -hmm. to go back to the banquet. It reminded me of Belle. And so that's how I left it. And it was lightweight. It was much easier to actually walk around and dance in <laughs> than the white gown. Um, Blair asks, what's your dream role? Hmm, talk about this a little bit. This is really tough. There's a few that come to my mind, but I, it's like, nice. as an artist, like, the funnest roles are, or the most fulfilling things are roles that haven't been created yet, like yeah. roles that mm. you would get to create, essentially. Um, but I, I mean, I would love to do, like, Peggy Sawyer in 40s, like a tap show, or like in oh. 42nd Street, or like Polly and Crazy for You, which I got to do a concert of, but like still haven't gotten to really do yet. Like Clara and Light in the Piazza. Oh, that'd be great. I don't know. Something like that. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Like you said, it hasn't written yet, probably, but I mean, like um, yeah. Esther Blodgett in Star Wars 1. Oh, yeah. I think that'd be great. Or uh, Lucy Ellen Someone write it, right? Lucy Ellen Yes, yeah. you guys can yeah. do it. Right. Or Jean Valjean on Sunday. Ooh. You guys, his. Um, Gone on high. I heard you sing it. Bring him home. In his concert, I wept. I wept. Okay. Um, Linux. Linux Penguin. Okay. Ask. What's your favorite RNH song? Ooh. That's fun. Oh, I said that. Oh, my dreams are That's. I love that song. Oklahoma. I think that's Oklahoma. It's like got that minor. Da, 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 yeah. Right. Yeah. I think out of my dreams. Um, I, you know what? I do kind of love. I so. I mean, so many come to my mind. I have a personal connection to a lot of them. But I actually, the sound of the music. I think at its core, whenever I sing it, I've gotten to do it a few times with like an orchestra in a symphony concert. And when I sing the words, my heart will be. Hi, Josie. When I sing the words, <laughs> my ahead. heart will be blessed with the sound of music. I just uh, yeah. it get, it makes me cry almost every time, and so um, I just think it's such a beautiful song. Yeah, yeah. so um, for me, but it's like three songs in one. But it's such a, such a turn in the middle. Oh, it's a little like it's, yeah. it's you know it's how how amazing to have a song that is a true inner monologue. Every moment of you were sitting down and thinking about something, and it takes just every like, turn, excitement and fear and and dread and I'm um, you know encourage and all the things and it it's yeah. It's, it is it's like an it's, eleven minute long. Yeah, it's a play. Yeah, it's a it's a one act play. It's a one act song. Play. Sweetie thing. Okay, um, Bella asks, what's it like doing Doctor Zhivago and Death Note? Oh, oh, Death Note. Oh yeah, Death Note. Death Note. Um, <laughs> talk about Zhivago. Zhivago was great. It was short <laughs> lived. Um, it wasn't a short musical. It was short lived, and it was very sad to see it go. But um. I just, I made, I made a lot of really beautiful friends. Like Laura Lee Gayer, who played Tonya, is now like one of my best friends, and we help run the nonprofit in Surf Women's Society. So, like, and Tamu too. And like, I just took a lot of people from it, so that was amazing. And I love, I love Lara. I think she's and Laura, and I love Lara, Grisha, uh, and I think she was, um, she was, yeah, she's a beautiful character. They all are, and it's a complicated story, and just a, just a timeless kind of. Love and war and all that kind of stuff. It's sort of it's it's exciting to do something epic like that. Um, but we did sweeping, sweeping. Yeah, we didn't get to see it through, and so I never really felt like it was under me in a place I could. You know, we were still like, what is it? <laughs> Trying to make it into something. So we were still very much in the beginning phases of what that feels like. But um, it's a rush to be a lead on Broadway. It's an amazing gift. It's so yeah. hard because sometimes those short-lived things are the things you have the fondest memories from because, or you hold tightly to them more because. You just 
feel like if they never quite got their due, so you just and they didn't get a chance to ever feel stale in your own life. It still feels so fresh. So fresh. Right. That's a very good point. Um, and then Death, Death Note. Note. For anyone who doesn't know, Death Note is like a Japanese comic, anime fairy tale, um, yeah. and. Uh, and Frank Wildhorn wrote music to Death Note, and we did some demo demos. Track. And all, almost every single song I did was a duet. So, like, I played the sort of not the not the hero, but like the protagonist character, and Jeremy Jordan played the antagonist. And but of course, it was just some demo tracks. But we never were in the studio at the same time. So I sang to his tracks, like getting really, you know, excuse me, pissed at him. But <laughs> it was just in my ear. We never sang in the same room. So I'm waiting for the day when we. Uh, at 54 below. That. Oh, that'd be exactly. Right. exactly. And Jeremy was note. obviously Revisit. our first guest last week when RNH goes live, um, doing Oh, What a Beautiful Morning. And then same thing with Death Note, too. And Frank was like, Will you sing these three songs in the studio? And I was like, Sure. And I learned them and did them. And then later found out they were like going on, you know, the actual yeah. like, demo recording. And now and they're like, they're, they're like an underground like, thing. Like, they people, kind of have this yeah. following. People have, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, okay. I think that's it, you guys. That is all the time we have. So thank you so much. Much again for tuning in today to RNH Go Live, RNH Goes Live, and also give it up for Kelly and Jared. Yay! Thank you guys. I love you guys Thanks so much. much. I'm so so grateful to be here quarantined with you guys in, in our Edelweiss. crazy time in our Edelweiss beautiful nature world. It's just stay connected, you guys. It's so important. Surround yourself with people you love, even if it's over Zoom or Skype. And make music. And keep making music. We had a lot of fun putting this together the last 24 hours. So um, thank you so much, you guys. Stay tuned also for an announcement about our next RNH Goes Live performances and also the Rogers and Hammerstein social media pages. Stay tuned. I think the links and the um, the handles are below. And um, we also have an announcement exciting about the RNH Goes Pop track release coming up in a few weeks. So please stay tuned and join us next week. Take care, guys. Bye. Bye. Laura.